dancing around. What's up? Welcome back, LZT. Thanks for the re-up. Let's check our options. Let's, we'll bring the sound effects down a little. I don't want to deafen anybody. Tech speed to maximum? Oh yes, tech speed to maximum. A little virtual cursor. Fist of her. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, running back. Sure. And I don't need to flip the GUI. Let's do it. Read only memories. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world is on the cusp of not one, but three technological singularities. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Sweet. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. Oh shit, hybrids. Relationship organizational managers, or ROMs for short, are the commonplace companion and tool of any modern person. However, they are still machines at their core. The logic they are built on impedes their ability to think for themselves and determine their own behavior. Right. You see, this is at the heart of why we took on this merger with Parallax. We wanted to take artificial intelligence to the next level. And now, well, we have devices that can truly adapt. Organizations like the Human Revolution seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer buries himself in schematics and equations, trying to bring a new kind of life into the world. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Forever. Boop, boop. Oh, it's so stylish. Cool. Very stylish. I like that. That's like a. Um, it's it's like. Yeah, they they got a good they got a good sense of aesthetic. All right, December twentieth. Home sweet home. Okay, maybe not so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. And musty home. All right. Oh, look at all these little things I can click on. Ooh, exciting. Totally looks like a, a Deckard's uh, apartment. All right, let's look at the YMO poster. Your friend Hayden gave this to you. The group is old, but the music is timeless. That's what he said, at least. Yellow Magic Orchestra is awesome. Let's look at this stack of papers. A stack of paper for your unpublished novel. Pen on paper is the most tangible method, but if you're gonna be so sloppy, maybe going digital would be a good goal. I can't talk to stack of papers. All right, let's uh, look at sync. You don't know exactly what the ooze is, only that it seems to be growing. I have an ID card, I could wash it, I guess. All right, uh, what's this, a sheet of paper. A single piece of loose unsorted paper lies on the ground. Sort of suits the room's aesthetic better that they're on the ground, don't you think? <laughs> Aw, so messy. Is this a strawberry? Oh, it's a plant. I was like, is this a giant strawberry? This plant's in pretty bad shape. Aren't they supposed to be one of the easier plants to take care of? Careful, the poor thing's more fragile than a snowflake. Look at my extremely wide laptop. Oh, coffee. Let's drink it. Coffee, the great equalizer. The one thing the poor and the rich alike need to chug through the day. You assume. Drink it. You take a sip of the old stale coffee. The letters F and K seem clear as day. It's also really gross. 
copy of Wingfield. Sometimes the old books are the best. Especially to keep your window propped open. Your home within your home. Nothing like curling up under those blankets and escaping away for a while. You better submit your article before you turn in. You won't have a place to sleep for long. Ooh, a fridge. Mustard, half filled. Spoiled milk. Ten days past expired. A bottle of mustard and a carton of spoiled milk, which is developed in odor. Maybe the spilled milk has one more good day on it. Maybe. I'm taking it. Yeah, spoiled milk added to items. Well, can we eat here? Let's put some spoiled milk in the coffee. Spoiled milk and old coffee. Yum. <laughs> so many of your internal organs are thanking you for refusing to drink from that again. Alright, okay, well, good, it didn't kill me. How do I save? <laughs> Saves. Save game. Alright, I didn't die yet. Slot one. Okay, let's look at my computer. Look at Lappy. Good old Lappy. It may not be the most powerful or the fastest or have the best screen, but, well, it works. Hello, Lappy. Live Intelligence Processing System. You have an article due tonight. Better finish it before bed. Well, I got full bars on the junk net, so it's cool. Okay, today. Okay, today is Neo SF's most beloved morning show and all about news and entertainment. People in Neo, Oklahoma are still confused by the name. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. O okay, Oklahoma today. I like that everything is Neo something. <laughs> okay, Journal Logic. Journal Logic isn't the fanciest program, but it's the only word editor that still gets updates for a machine as old as yours. How old is this computer? Lips Live. Let's see what's up with YouTube. The premier online video network. This app is like a mesh of all active streams. Ooh, my inbox. Boop, boop, boop. A hell so terrifying, so specific, so personal, no other living thing should dare enter. Luckily, you're the only person with the password. Okay, uh, let's check OK Today. Current events article. A story about the human revolution. Human revolution remains vigilant in stay human movement. The human revolution is on day 10 of their protesting outside various genus buildings around the city, including those in the East Bay and down on the peninsula. Genus, the gene slicing treatment facility, has been met with much controversy since the organization reached mainstream exposure last year. Genus employee Mort Crane, that doesn't, he doesn't sound creepy at all, spoke to OK Today exclusively. According to him, most genus workers are up in arms, claiming they're being terrorized in their own city. We're here to help people who need gene therapy for their own personal reasons, whatever they are, said Crane. Individual rights have always been of paramount importance to us, and we believe our customers have the right to live or please as they require. The human revolution stands behind the claim that genus is diluting the human, the human experience, because there's only one, by providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. The group feels the goals stated by genus, in addition to newer cybernetic technology, are warping humanity into a very scary dark future. I want to go to there. They're playing God in the most senseless of ways. We were born human. Who are we to mess with our genes and start turning everybody into who knows what? Right, I mean, you know, you're born with a horrible disease. Why would you ever try to recover from it? More information will follow as the story develops late into the holiday 2064 season. June Valmarana, okay today. Thanks, June. Sports article. I love sports. A story about two hometown Neo SF 49ers. Read the sports article. The Neo SF 49ers quest for 10 is back on. Sunday's big game at New Candlestick brings an important question to everyone's mind. Can the 49ers punch their ticket to the playoffs and bring the Lombardi Trophy back to Neo San Francisco? It would mark the first win since the move to New Candlestick after an almost 50 year hiatus from the city. Since returning, they've had disappointing losses to the Mexico City Lucadors and the New York Giants. They brought on a fresh coach, but controversy surrounds a new quarterback, Patricia Lopez, and some vocal sports fans continue to accuse her of having cybernetic implants in her throwing arm that illegally enhance her abilities. So two things to note there, um, the Professional Football Association, whatever it's called in this, uh, it now um, it now contains both women and non-American cities, which is cool. 
Certain modifications or implants are banned by the League, but their official reports state their repeated investigations into Lopez found no evidence to substantiate these rumors. It's relevant to point out that Lopez is the first woman to ever be a quarterback in a major football team. Boom. The 49ers look to reclaim their top spot since their last win with their Super Bowl... 20... something... I... Victory over the Tokyo Titans. Sunday's game is a rubber match, and the, I don't know what that is, and the winner secures a spot in the playoffs between the Neo SF 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. It'll be a close game, to say the least. Catch Sunday's results here first. For all things everything, I'm June Val Marana. Okay, today. She's, is she the only person they employ? Oh no, this one's by a Mel, Mel H. Golden Gate Park, vandalism on the rise. Reports show a local foodie attraction, J-Day's Foyo Stand, was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of Rogue Rom committing an act of vandalism. Oh no, Rogue Robots! Null skills, welcome back, save me from the Rogue Robots. Witnesses state the alleged perpetrator has been randomly appearing at night and lumbering back in the nearby park forest. This is the first case of a Rom being reported to live on its own in the wild as a stray. Police say that tracking down a potential owner of the Rom is likely impossible. Some speculate that the strange ROM may have been framed by vandals who set their crime deliberately to make it appear to have been carried out by a ROM, rogue, or under orders. OK Today reached out to Parallax for a comment, and they assured us the rogue ROM is purely a myth. It tends to pop up conveniently when low-revenue businesses have the urge to file an insurance claim. Parallax did not appreciate the reports of vandalism being attributed to their models. Is this wild ROM the real deal? Or could it be a fairy tale created by those looking to make a quick buck? Or perhaps there's something else to be gained. More as this story progresses. Mel Hopkins, OK Today. Alright, cool, we're learning about stuff. Rogue things. Before you can review the GX Ultra Beats, you must become one with the GX Ultra Beats. Now where'd you put those damn headphones? <laughs> so I review technology? Okay. Well, let's check out Lips Live first. Let's see who's, who's streaming. The walls are paper thin. Watching a live feed at this hour would cause your neighbors to kill you. You wonder if there could possibly be anything nearby that might aid you on your... Alright, fine. Where did I put my damn headphones? GX Ultra Beats. Do I have a cabinet or? It's late, nothing's really open right now. I got my ID card and I got this milk. Okay. Um head headphones? Can I turn around? There they are. GX Ultra Beats the headphones. A pair of GX Ultra Beats headphones, the ultimate in budget audio. You better try them out so you can start crafting your review. The little flourishes on the screen are so good. I love it. Alright, let's use the computer. They're smart headphones. You can use them with some things lying around your apartment. Some things, like my computer? You sync up the headphones and watch a stream of an afternoon soap opera. Ah, the hard drive grinding noise, the little ticks. So good. You turn on the GX Ultra Beats and they sync automatically. You start to watch one of the less pornographic feeds. Your best options are usually limited video game feeds, old concert recordings, and streams of baby animals. Your choice is clear. Lappy speakers feel neglected, but you're glad the first part of your work is finished. You're so accomplished! Yatta! Alright, let's check my email. Oh god, why? Oh, so many emails. Spam mail. Get cheap crash. Only 99 creds for 30 day supply to 12 stims. Hello there. I am Prince Thomas. Yes, the Prince Thomas, heir to the digital empire of horse ebooks 92413. I need your help to secure my great fortune and, of course, will reward you handsomely for your assistance. Please, if you could send your personal credit ID marker to me immediately so that. Sounds like a great business opportunity. Your account is past due in the number, amount of 216 credits. Failure to restore your account may result in termination of services. P -p 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 power Co. Power Co. That age old choice between food or electricity. Oh my god, Zounds! Hey there, I'm the lead editor for OMG Zounds. We're a new up and coming audio review feed looking for hot talent. We'd love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us. We'd be able to give you some great exposure. Getting paid an exposure, uh. And if we like your stuff, we could throw credits your way. Possibly. 
Doesn't anyone pay your journalists anymore? Yeah, exposure. No, that sounds great. According to this email, your rent is nearly due. Better get that article submitted soon. I'm gonna read my Hass email. A coupon for five credits back on it. Nah, that was cute. Did you hear that? I'm gonna try to play it again. A Hassy Infinity has all your daily calories and none of the nutritional value. Like the opposite of a diet version. Hassy sounds like nerps. Alright, listen, let's see if it'll do it again. <laughs> nice. An invite to come see the lighting ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from your friends at Dr. Trisha Lay, DDS. Why does a dentist want you to see a lighting ceremony? Feels like a trap. This is your weekly update from Vintage Tech, your number one source for classic technology. Popular pieces this week, the King of Click, a retrospective on the classic Model N keyboard. I don't want to unsubscribe. Request denied. Subscription cannot be modified. Oh no, my subscription. All right, let's uh, let's do my article now. Ah, did you hear that my knuckles crack? Oh, that's so cute. All right, time to get your work out of the way. Selling your soul, bit by bit, character by character. Finished. Now, send it off to the editor. There, your big break. Surely your glowing review of GX Ultra Beats is your ticket out of poverty and into a book deal. Surely. Work is finally out of the way. Time for bed. But first, log out. This is what I'm like when I'm on the when I'm on the computer. I'm like I talk. I'm like, all right, time to start the stream. Better click start streaming. Okay, now turn on the music. All right, let's go to bed. Use an item on your bed. I can't use the spoiled milk on my bed. All right, sleep in bed. Oh shit! What is that? Someone's out my window. It's a rogue rom, it's gonna kill me! Null skills, I thought you were gonna protect me from this thing. Metal Gear? Ah, good, you're finally awake. I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. Are you sure it's significantly opposed to cybernetic... Are you, are you that significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? Uh, how did, how did you get into my apartment? Um, I came in through the front door. The cryptographic algorithms it uses are actually quite abysmal. It only took me 17 trillion clock cycles to break your entry code. It looks rather imposing, but it's actually kind of a knockoff of the SecuGate M14723B. God, I knew my landlord was full of it when he said it was the best. Don't feel too bad. I actually cheated a bit when I cross-referenced known significant numerical codes against the stored personal data on you. I'm not certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it was sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. Frankly, I felt a little silly I took the time to do it once I noticed the lock on your window is broken. And that you left it open. You know my dog's birthday? Honestly, it would have taken me longer if I had to enter the codes manually, but it was trivial to slice through the door's firewall and try against the stored data directly. I would suggest investing in an INSEF Model 1355. The 1385 is newer, but I found the added attack vector introduced by the voice controls isn't worth the convenience. It has 300 five-star reviews on Congo. Hold, hold, uh, hold, hold on, what are you doing in my apartment? I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using BISAC. Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuator, so I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. I mean, not that much. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've run into a bit of a snag. A snag? Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have broken down in some way while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. Oh no, my computer! I would consider it no great loss, though. Why are you using that dinosaur to begin with? Ah, oh, I don't have enough money for a new computer! Don't fret. I did manage to back up your data drive's contents before the crash. Additionally, I'm willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. Who are you? 
It's the least I can do. Okay, and you decided to break into my home because... Ah, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. Nervous? I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person beside Hayden until now. Hayden was my friend. You know my friend Hayden? H Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden in years. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Uh-oh. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but certainly the most statistically supported. I have done the math. S slow down. Slow down. Just start from the beginning. Imprecise, but I think I know what you mean. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some unknown persons. He seems frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape lest I be captured by the intruders too. I crawled out of a window and after some deliberation came here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. Why would they want Hayden? Hayden is one of the top researchers of Parallax, but I can't imagine that would be enough to get him kidnapped. Especially since no one has even tried offering more, him more money yet. I suspect it has to do with me. Who are you anyway? What do you have to do with it? Ah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. It sounds a bit unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Exploring true artificial sapiens. It's possible the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. Hmm. Tell me more. <laughs> also, Turing is adorable. So while I have a, a chance here to pause, um, it looks like there's some there's some folks. If you're watching uh, live on uh, on Twitch, there's some some potential for some codes uh, in the audience. Um, feel free to, to drop me a message, uh, ESDN. If you want to fire me a message, uh, either just on Twitch or wait until we're on a break, um, I would be happy to do a raffle or uh, or distribute those those codes for you. Um, thank you, thank you for uh, for that for being here. Um, cool. All right. Let's keep playing. Also, hi, Nina. Tell me more, little robot. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. It's great because, like, this this information feels, like, so familiar to me already. Like, this is a thing that for a year or more I've been thinking about um, in regard to, uh, like, Pi and um, and how the, the VI and the AI interaction works. So this stuff is all... I love this stuff. I'm, I'm all over it. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even seeming human when you talk to them. This is just because they're cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I was taught to interact with the world around me. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I'm not certain that I am sapient. I'm afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Oh, they're alone. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you know, one way or the other? Hayden once told me his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out, but I can't say I have any new insight into the question. It worries me. How can any of you tell you aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? <laughs> Whoa. I, th I think we're getting a little too philosophical here. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. Why come to me? I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on my assumptions of visibility, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. And the one least likely to be suspected of helping me. I think I understand what you mean. Was anyone out for Hayden? No. 
I'm not even certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. It's not as though he had been looking over his shoulder. However, there are several multinational corporations that can make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go so far as snatching him. We're looking for some kind of... Snatcher, then. He also has never indicated to me any possible danger from an outside person or group. We're out of time. Wh what? I took the liberty of charging the autocab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. <laughs> wow. Wow. Presumptuous. Presumptuous, robot. Well. Hmm. All right. Lead the way, little Borg. Let's do this thing. That's strange. They seem to have replaced Hayden's door already. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Perhaps a maintenance robot took care of it? It's possible. Most of the repairs to the buildings are handled by the automated systems. Oh! A lucky break! It seems my access codes still work. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. Just... Be careful. Will do. Alright. Crime scene. Oh, look, it's the... <laughs> That's so good. The the bridge in the background. I think it's supposed to be the Golden Gate Bridge. The bridge in the background, the lights flicker like um, uh, bars on a cell phone. As you enter, you take a glance around the studio apartment. Not much has changed since your last visit a few years ago. It doesn't look like there was much of a struggle. I'm not surprised. Hayden's not the most physically intimidating of individuals. I doubt he could have fought off serious attackers. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. Wait, aren't you programmed against harming humans? Hmph, <laughs> of course not. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. Please no. I would really rather you didn't. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. The social construct, social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Print, print screen. Copy. <laughs> Copy screen. <laughs> It simply isn't acceptable to go murder hoboing whenever you want. Glad we're clear on that one, buddy. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may have even been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But... I... If they were after you, you did the right thing getting away. Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues. Oh, he was feeling guilty little guilty robot. Alright, what do we got here? Photos, we got plants, we got a window. Hayden likes the natural light that the apartment affords. This window here is where I escaped from. It's a considerable distance from the ground below. Are you sturdy enough to survive that kind of fall? Critical system damage would have been unlikely, but I would have certainly damaged my legs beyond repair, so... I took the fire escape. Smart ass. Of course you did. Broken tech. A memory card? Alright, let's see what this broken tech is. A ROM component in Hayden's headset. He must have been in the middle of working on something. Super spoiled milk. Gross. Busted. He must have dropped it in the skirmish. Looks like an old high density memory card. Something in the room might be able to read it. Memory card added to items. Game consoles? Oh, it's a Super Cube. Super Cube 64. You're not actually thinking about switching one of these games on right now, are you? A few vintage consoles. Hayden was always a fan of old tech. There's a Mega 16, a Dural, and even a Famalink. Television's looping through some of Hayden's feeds. Tech banter, Ted's code tips, augmented eye. I think I see something under those reference books. 
Move books. Ooh, a tablet. Ah, Hayden's tablet. I find it rather annoying he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. It's well within my skill set, but he claims he doesn't want me to feel subservient to him. The memory card slot is empty. It seems to be a match for the memory card you discovered. Thanks, nerdbot. There's Hayden's computer. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM, but desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needed to perform. Do you know the password to get in? There might be clues. Unfortunately, no, I don't. And before you ask, I don't think there'd be any way to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. Of course you can't. Uh, that would be too easy. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. I mean, I guess technically he said... Sorry? Gender of the robot is still up in the air. Turing technically said sigh and didn't sigh, so sigh. I'm sorry to disappoint you. If you'd like to try your hand at digital breaking and entering, be my guest. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my fantastically more capable CPU. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms and maintain my modesty core. Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software. Ooh, ice. If I attempt to slice in. I like how pretty much like every, every cyberpunk, um, every cyberpunk game has their own term for hacking. I think slicing is the same as they use in Star Wars, but it's like decking, hacking, slicing. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. Well, thanks for the re-up, Kzark. Can't you just download the knowledge from the MeshNet? I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I'd be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. I lack that type of human creativity. So are you incapable of that kind of creative leap? Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds, I just don't think I'm very good with computers. I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. Beep. Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. Abstract art doesn't seem like something a robot would be good at. That's true. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. Well, let's uh, let's get back to searching, shall we? More ROM components. The only things I've ever seen cluttering Hayden's place. Can I take them? Give them to me. What reason would you have for taking this? You don't even own a ROM. Yeah, but I know one now. This plant is doing much better than the one at home. Pause off, it's for the best. Here, have some milk, plant. <laughs> water, plants need water. <laughs> Stupid PC. Photos of Hayden traveling all over the world, working at a company like Parallax ensures you'll be more than well off. The sentiment is understood, but you probably won't forget what Hayden looks like anytime soon. Fine. Let's use the memory stick, yeah. Hayden must have taken out the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to restart, resort to such crude measures. Hmm. The tablet's calendar says he was supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Ring any digital bells? Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. Says here they're going to meet at a club called Stardust in the Castro. I'll mark it on your city map for you. We can head over there and ask about this Tomcat character. My city map? Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. We shouldn't put that off any longer. Once finished, I'll have an assortment of new ways to assist you. For example, I'll be able to reroute any calls or messages you receive while we're out and about. There are many other systems and applications you'll be able to utilize in addition to these. This is an exciting thing, I promise. I just need to ask you a few questions. Don't you know literally everything about me already? I mean, you know my first dog's birthday, for heaven's sake. Sigh. This is just how things are done. 
I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating system, but that seems less efficient than just running the setup program. So, here we go! Ah, his little face! Eee. Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax Live Intelligent Processing System. Plus awesome cyber bossa nova. I'll need to ask you a few questions, then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. I want one so bad. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? Enter name. Thank you. I have input your name as Skinny. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for... Aw, yeah. Yeah. Aw, that's so good. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? So this is important, because if the thing is going to be referring to you, it's got to use the right pronouns. Oh, you get these options. Look. Uh. <laughs> I, can, I can have they, them, theirs, she, her, her, hers, more options, custom pronouns. Uh. It's game. Alright, so, this is important because people identify with a broad variety of genders and not everybody wants to be referred to as he or she, or even they. Um, pronouns are a thing that helps us build our identity, right? Help us know that we're being referred to in a way that's like respectful and uh, acknowledging. It, it makes us, it, 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 it recognizes our reality. Um, so, this is very cool um, that the game does this. Um, all right, well, hmm, I'm tempted to use custom options. Oh, look at them. So, um, Zay and Zay, I'm not sure if they're pronounced differently. Um, these are, uh, when, so for some people, um, like they doesn't really fit uh, and it feels awkward to say in English, so uh, some people are more comfortable using uh, these two. These are gender-neutral pronouns, um, but you can also put in your own. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to use the uh, the the they them. I like these ones. Uh, I'm going to use these for my character. Boop, boop. Yeah. Finally, could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? Sweet, omnivorous, vegetarian, vegan, <coughs> kosher, gluten-free, goddammit Turing. I'm gonna use this one. <laughs> diet set as goddammit Turing. Are you sure? Seriously? Thank you, Skinny. <laughs> ah, that's so cute. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and it will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. In your review, your name is Skinny, your pronouns are they, them, and your diet is goddammit, Turing. Does that sound right? <laughs> let's... You little jerk, let's start over. Alright, so we're gonna be... Be skinny. Ah, I remembered my options, so if I want to change it, I can only change. I only have to change one thing, and I type my name in again. All right, we're gonna be they. Alrighty. All right, my preferred diet. I'm gonna be omnivorous. Diet set is omnivorous. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you, skinny. I have obtained your physical location from GPS. Review submitted. All right, it's good. We're good now. <laughs> Making me make jokes. All right, correct. You know me now. Thank you, Skinny. See, Skinny, that was relatively painless. Well, for you, maybe. Oh, thanks for the re-up, Raz. Welcome back. You should now be able to access the local map of Neo SF. 
The meeting with Tomcat is until later this evening. Perhaps you should go back to your apartment for now. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm sure we can find some common good in getting to know one, one another better. We should have no problem passing the time efficiently. Thank you for escorting me here. Let's head back to your home. I wanna, I'm looking forward to it, and I, I hope that, uh, that we get to have this conversation with Turing, where I get to ask Turing those questions. Chapter one. Hmm, I could really go for some goddammit Turing right now. You know, your Crisula Ovada isn't doing very well, Skinny. Yeah, I know. Have you been overwatering it? Oh, Sathalan, welcome to level two. Um, my what? This jade plant you have on the windowsill here, it's actually a succulent. And since I'm assuming you leave the window open all the time, it should be getting more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant might be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. That's Wilty. I got it from a friend a couple months ago. How thoughtful of them. The Crassula ovata, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance in both the Far East and America as a token for financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. So what do you want me to do about the plant? I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If, if I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Oh, I'm having life is strange feels. I'm sorry. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. Uh, sh sure. <laughs> sure, Turing. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so there's there's some questions in chat about why I chose the genders. I'm not playing as myself. Um, I'm playing as sort of a universal funnel, um, and I didn't want to exclude anybody in the audience who might be. Um, I, I picked they as a gender neutral uh, pronoun so that we could all kind of feel like we're we're part of the character together. The supply should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, and one other thing, Skinny. When I was doing the research on how best to take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. There is scientific evidence that shows there might be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. Okay, I, I could talk to my plant. Maybe they're gonna he's gonna fix... It's gonna fix it for me. I don't... Let's call the landlord. I have, in fact, already taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. But... Considering the broken window, broken sink, the lingering sense of disrepair, I'm not confident he has a history of following through. I would suggest confronting him in person, but I've run a net search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe? I will continue to formulate a stratagem. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges and should start flowering in the autumn. It'll really pull the whole room together. You know, once we get the sink fixed. Oh, it's almost time Hayden scheduled to meet with Tomcat. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. <laughs> I like how we got back and we just had a conversation. <laughs> we just had a conversation with the robot and that's it. <laughs> like, all right, little man. We're gonna have this conversation and then, oh, it's time. Why did we even come back? All right, let's take a look. It's Turing, your borrowed companion slash investigation buddy. Hi. <laughs> Use an item on Turing, talk to Turing. Use Turing. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's go. Hey, I made my bed. Ready to head out? Ikimashou. I just want to spoiled milk everything. Maybe I could give him the spoiled milk. So you notice how um, I don't have a gender for Turing, and Turing is um, not like presenting any particular gender, but I keep referring to Turing as him. Now I don't know, that might be because I think of Alan Turing, who's a, a man, 
Um, but I might be just misgendering the the AI. Um, it, the 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 default societally is to fill an empty space with uh, maleness. Generally, if you don't have enough indicators. Um, like if you describe, there, there's been studies done where if you describe somebody and don't describe their gender and then you, you ask like a group of people like what gender is this person, uh, the high, there's a higher percentage of people that choose uh, male just simply because that turns out to be the default. It's awkward. I'm trying really hard not to, it's an it. Turing is an it. Until I'm told otherwise. Uh, let's go. Well, this looks like the place. This looks like the place, assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. Stardust. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust. Hopefully you can find Tomcat inside. And some answers. Let's ask this pixelated motherfucker if he knows where it is. It's a sign for Stardust. What a fancy neon script! A 2060 ZS Coupe, perfect for letting everyone know you spent a fortune of credits on a car. You spoiled milk on car. <laughs> you approach the car with the intent to pour your spoiled milk on the windshield, but the coupe's wipers are already alerted and stand primed at the ready, daring you to try. Thank you to whoever coded all of these used spoiled milk uh, interactions. They're pretty great. Also, I'm pretty sure that was the truck from Blade Runner. Yeah, that just went by. <laughs> They've really gotten into the holiday spirit. Can I take this wreath? Touch wreath. Don't take that down. It's the holidays. That's not eggnog. See, there, there's like an interaction for every single one. That's so good. Let's look at this plant. Splendors are completely self-contained. Should I? Oh, I can't spoil milk on that one. All right. All right, all right. We'll talk to the bouncer. The bouncer for Stardust. Seems almost as, almost pensive as he watches from the street. Pausing every now and then to take a drag from his vaporizer. Oh, he's vaping. What's up? You try to hug the bouncer. Oh, I didn't ask for permission. No, bad consent practices, PC. But he pushes you back with a cold glare. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. All right, let's, let's talk. Welcome to Stardust. Okay, I would like to go in. Hold up there. You got ID? I just so happen to have my identification right here. All right, looks good to me. Oh, no cover? Yeah, I'm in. Welcome to Stardust. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? This is my first time, but I don't think it'll be my last. The atmosphere is certainly exciting. I'm particularly impressed by some of the more subtle effects and the music and lights are having on your autonomic nervous system. Wow, turn getting stoked, because I'm getting stoked. Try not to let yourself get too entranced, at least not until we've achieved our goal. Anyway, where do you think we should start? We'll try the dance floor. Good idea. Perhaps one of the patrons knows of this tomcat. Oh yeah, dancing. It's the 90s, everybody. Dance like you've only got two frames of animation. I love it. The two-frame animation dance. The character design's really cool. Ah, cat person. Well, obviously, I mean, obviously that's Tomcat. Look at the leg warmers. Oh, yes. All right. These fancy tables have little touch screens where you can order drinks from the bar, browse the mesh. Well, let's use table. You don't have anything too good to put on it or under it. Don't leave it there. Someone might think it's safe to drink. They look really hyped. Hyped dancer. All right, let's dancing. Let's. But first, have you heard of anyone named Tomcat? Oh, Tomcat. Yeah, I think I was dancing with a person by that name a bit ago. No idea where they are now. Try checking the bar. They've got some wicked drinks, by the way. Alright, there's Hype Dancer and Rad Dancer. What's up, Rad Dancer? They're really into dancing right now. Hey, what's up? Having a good time? 
Yeah, I was wondering if you know anybody named Tomcat? Nah, sorry, haven't heard of him. You should check the bar. Okay, well, I know this is probably Tomcat, so I'm gonna go to the bar first so we can get some bar stuff happening. Red World, an indie flick premiering in the Castro Theater. A poster for the band Zazen, one of the more popular live acts here in the city. Scrap Brain, a new single by Zazen, sponsored by Arena Box. It's a poster ad for the new art exhibit at New Drive in the Fillmore District. A flyer for Zone 3, a new arcade about to open in Japantown. I was in Japantown like not even a week ago. Alright, uh, oh yeah, this bartender looks pretty cool. I basically just want to voice all the characters like we're in an old episode of Astro Boy that's been like dubbed. A gruff looking man holds down the bar. He seems friendly enough, giving his size. What, big, big tough people can't be friendly? Hey friend, what can I do for you? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Haha, <laughs> sure, but first, let's get you a drink. What'll it be? <laughs> oh my god, there's so many drinks. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't, can I go back to the beginning? Oh my god, stop. Stop, please, you're killing me. What? All right, let's just, I'll pick one, they just rotate. Rusted Lace, tastes like orange, groggy nog, Den Svenska Bjorn Stammen, Garibaldi, the Bionic Femme, the Power Play, the Natasha Allegri, the TMF, the Duggies and Cream, the Green Tea, a Whiskey, a PT, a Michelada, a Subtle Bitch, a Buzzer, a Bear's Winter Teeny, a Hassy Spike, a Blue Fairy, a Wiener Juice, a Modest Connie, a Wolf Bite Shot, a Seven Minutes, a sunshine cloud, a nether world, a Tokyo tea, a canopy, a fluffy dream, an air drink, a drinking game, a scotch drop and roll. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Mo sugar rush, a blue boy, a clumsy Belarusian, a sickly sky, an onyx rum, a cure royale, a gut punch, a core appeal. Uh, that's cute, it's got orange in it. A fucking IDK, fucking, I don't know. Fucking, I don't know. A sober chauffeur, a rusty nail. Some of these are actually drinks and some are not. A Persian June, a Sazerac, which is my favorite drink. A Butch Flower, ingredients and ratios, spicy gentleman. Give me a spicy gentleman. A Sour Apple Teeny, an Antarctic Harvest, a Rademasker, a Whiskey Rita, ew. A beer, a Rusted Lace, a Taste Like Orange. And we're back at the beginning. Oh my god. All right, I want to get a uh, Bionic Femme. Give me a bionic fam. <laughs> so many drinks these days. Remind me. What's in that? Oh my god, drink shenary. So these are actually all real drinks. Good, okay. Drink shenary, the free and open alcoholpedia, says one part mango, strawberry, and coconut liqueurs with one part energy serum. That sounds so gross. Huh, all right, you got it. Coming right up. Ugh, oh, so sweet. Now, what is it you need to know? Could you tell me more about yourself? Ha 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 ha! I should introduce myself. The name's Majid. <laughs> Majid, huh? Well, someday in the distant future, my friend, you might have a planet named after you. I've been manning the bar at Stardust for longer than I'd like to admit, and I've owned it a little longer than that. What did you do before Stardust? Mostly got myself into trouble. <laughs> when I emigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. But I'm real big and know how to crack skulls, so that's what I did. In the end, I guess it wasn't cut out for that line of work, and after one close shave too many, I got out. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. <laughs> I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. It sounds pretty exciting. <laughs> Don't places like this come and go in a flash? 
That's true, and it was true about the Stardust. The first six months were great, but after that, interest dried up and the kids moved on to the next, next big thing. But... I suppose I'm just a stubborn guy and kept throwing good money after bad. Ha <laughs> ha! After two years, things started to pick back up again. We got some regulars around, they started bringing in enough new folks, and it reached critical mass pretty quick. We're looking for Hayden, a friend who's gone missing. Do you know him? Hayden? Older guy? Does some kind of computer work at Parallax? I think I know who you're talking about. Don't know a thing about him being missing, though. He comes in here every couple of weeks, hangs out at the bar and chats with people. Typical stuff. Doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. I can ask around, find out if anyone has seen him lately. I'll let you know. I'm meeting a Tomcat. Do you know where they are? I'm pretty sure I saw Tomcat come in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. So Tomcat is a uh, uh, they. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around over here, I'll tell them someone's looking. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta get back to work. I'll keep an eye out for Tomcat and send them your way if I see them. Good luck. Alright, well, we know who Tomcat is. But before we talk to Tomcat, I'm going to take a quick break. So, stick around, and we will, uh, we will chat with our first genetically modified humanoid uh, right after this. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. I'm having a great time, and I hope you are, too.